give us a year or so. A.D. 2064. Planet Earth was on the brink of destruction. Clashes between the World Republic Federation and the various nations that opposed it sparked the outbreak of World War III. Weapons of mass destruction, deployed with complete impunity, raised the land in the blink of an eye. People believed it was the end of the world. The dire situation forced the two opposing factions to negotiate a ceasefire, reaching an agreement in only two weeks. However, the war may have ended, but its effects remained. With the deteriorating environment, Earth's population was drastically reduced. Those who survived the conflict lived a confined existence, trapped in underground cities. Countries joined together to form the Greater United Nations and turn their eyes skyward to space. With the establishment of the USTA, or Universal Science and Technology Administration, man began to seek new worlds beyond the stars. A.D. 2087 the first year of the new space date calendar. Thanks to the success of Professor Trillis Bakhtine's warp drive experiments, mankind's dream inched ever closer to reality. The USTA secretly began to implement its SRF project, the Space Reconnaissance Force. Space Date 10, at last, the first official SRF mission. This moon base will be the start of our travels. <laughs> I bet they're rehashing all this stuff at the ceremony. <laughs> all right, guess I better be going. Edge? <sighs> I knew you'd be here. Boy, I just can't get away from you, can I, Raimi? How long do you think we've known each other? I know all your hiding places, Edge. Yeah, you've been hanging on to me for as long as I can remember. Remember how you'd always cry when I wasn't around? Sure took the fun out of playing hide-and-seek with you. Th that was ages ago! How long are you going to keep treating me like a child? As long as you're so quick to flare up like that, I guess. Uh... If you're here, I guess the departure ceremony's over, huh? Anyway... There's still some time left until we take off. I'm gonna work out a few kinks in the battle simulator. Uh, sure. Hey, wait a second! You skipped the ceremony on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, well... I thought I was gonna be able to meet a real hero. I might have gone if Commander Kenny was there, but Shimada's pontificating would just put me to sleep. That's USTA Deputy Director Shimada to you. Besides... I didn't want to see Crow gloating over his success anyway. It just really bugs me. And you call me childish. You just better not be late for launch preparations, you hear? Okay, my first actual recording of this kind of froze when I, uh... Um, got the uh, actual video uh, on my computer, so I have to uh, redo this, um, this little part. Um, that's why the next uh, actual voice section is going to be in Japanese. So um, this is basically um, the blind side. Um, you can use this thing um, every once in a while uh, in battle. It's it's actually pretty useful, um, however, uh, more than likely, um, I'll show uh, kind of one of the disadvantages to it. Um, it's kind of hard to actually get it to go through because uh, you have a limited time to actually set up for it, and if uh, your enemy does not uh, go in for the strike or. Uh, um, does not go into uh, his strike mode. Um, 
before you uh, actually stun yourself. Uh, well, you stun yourself, so. And you can get in a couple of free hits. Um, the problem is, usually they're critical. Trying to go through this basically as fast as I can because I want to. Uh, yeah, it hit me uh, right when I right when I uh, did it. So. You can either hit you like that, or uh, if you uh, sometimes go in those. Uh, Exclamation mark and uh, question mark are uh, actually just like a, a red or a, a gradient orange um, exclamation point. Uh, that means he's blocking you and he's going to do a counter attack, which uh, is always going to be a critical attack. One more to do. So I definitely don't want to get one video. Oh, that's one out of the way. Um, I don't want to have blood this in that video. I have to rename my other ones. But yeah, as you can see. As you can see, I... Well, I if you do it too long, uh, you'll get, uh, you'll get a shard over your head, which means you're a uh, temper. Uh, and then they can attack you for a uh, I want to get that. That's the name. There we go. Well, that was uh, doing the blind side and stuff. Um, I'll show you uh, the other stuff that's available uh, when we actually start needing it. Because, uh, most of this stuff. Uh, is actually pretty basic, like uh, the basic movements and stuff. So, uh, I will see you in a bit. ムーンベース司令官、スティーブ・ディ・ケニー。ただいま地球より戻りました。彼の英雄、高速のスティーブにしては、随分のんびりとした期間ではないかね。司令官たる者が執行指揮を欠席するとは、このプロジェクトも
私は疲れているのだ何せ君の代わりに執行式を仕切ったのだからな来賓の方々にも喜んでもらえたようで宇宙開拓の素晴らしい幕開けとなったよ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>執行式には政府関係者も多数出席しますからね指令がいらしては注目を持っていかれる大方そういったところでしょうどうでもよいことだよ形式など関係ない私たちはここで彼らの旅立ちを祝おうじゃないかそう彼らのな。